is in Chicago and thousands are expected to turn out to see it. We have a live look right now from Chopper 7 HD as the body is escorted to St. John Cantius Church in Goose Island. That is where Eyewitness News reporter Diane Pathew is standing by live. Diane. People that showed up for this event. This is the very first time that St. Maria Goretti is going to not only be here in the United States, but here in Chicago. Take a look at all of the people that are here. And there's a reason they're standing around the staircase, as you see. What's going to happen is the Chicago Police Motorcade is going to bring St. Maria Goretti here in front of the church, We're right outside St. Cantius Church. And then they're going to get her out of the vehicle and then bring her up the steps. And on the steps, there's going to be a very short, very symbolic ceremony, a prayer service right on the steps that everybody's going to be a part of. Then they're going to carry the saint into the church. There's going to be about a 30 minute set up inside the church. After that, all of the guests are going to be allowed inside the church. And that's when a prayer mass will begin. This is the very first time that the saint, as I mentioned, is in Chicago. So this is a big deal. Saint Maria Goretti is the patron saint of youth and young people, the youngest person to ever be canonized. She was killed in 1902 at the age of 11 after being stabbed 14 times during an attempted rape. The girl forgave her killer on her deathbed. Well, first of all, she's a saint of purity. And in this world today, we can appreciate that with our young youth who are so important to us and is the future for us. And as far as her being a saint, to me, it's, I can't explain it. I loved her all my life, all the time I knew her. And to be close to one, oh my gosh. Josephine, by the way, lined up with her family at 2 o'clock this morning to be the first family here in line to get a chance to see St. Maria. Visitors will see a wax statue encased in a glass coffin containing St. Maria's remains. St. Maria will be brought in, as, as I mentioned, after a quick prayer service. Then the uh, viewing will begin, and these are approximate times after the 7.30 mass. Viewing will last until tomorrow morning, and they expect a big crowd to come for a solemn prayer. That prayer takes place at 7.30 this evening. So really will be a whole day of viewing and prayer service today. And then she will leave the church tomorrow morning and make her way over to North Lake at church there. Reporting live from Goose Island, Diane Pathew, ABC7 Eyewitness News.
day in Chicago, thousands of people expected to line up to spend a few seconds with a saint. Fox 32's Jake Hamilton has the story from River West. You're standing outside St. John Cantius Church, a big day for the Catholic community here in Chicago. The sacred remains of St. Maria Goretti here in Chicago inside the church as we speak. She is the patron saint of youth and young people, the youngest canonized saint in the Catholic Church. Here to tell us a little bit more about it, Father Joshua Caswell. Father, how are you, sir? Thank you very much. After her arrival, I can finally relax. Whew, she got here. <laughs> she did. And you guys, it was a beautiful sight earlier today. Uh, up to 20,000 people you guys are expecting today. A big turnout for a very big event. Definitely. And not just a religious event, but also a civic event. And that's also why we had the Chicago police, the state police, why we have the police here today. Because Maria Goretti, even though she is just a dead body, she is still a um, a deputy head of state of the Vatican. So that's really an amazing um, you know, thing for her. But also a lot of Catholics connect with her. So you have the Catholics here, the general public. It's going to be a great moment. You've been inside as the crowds have started forming their way in. Talk to me about uh, the emotions going on inside. How have you seen people react as they approach her? Uh, people are, some people are moved to tears. Um, some people are, real, this is a moment they've been waiting for for a long time. They've planned months in advance or they've heard about it. And so you see some people walking up to the casket of this little girl and they're able to touch, place their hand against the casket. And that's often a moment of great significance. And they often ask Maria Gretti, please pray for me. Please pray for me that I might find that forgiveness that you gave. Beautiful so. sight. Father, thank you very much. Right. Much greatly really appreciated. Right. As we're standing out here in front of St. John Cantius Church, uh, where the patron saints of youth and young people will be here until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Up to 20,000 people expected to walk through those doors. A very big day for, like he said, the entire community. So for now, we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Hundreds take advantage of the rare opportunity to get a look at a saint. The remains of St. Maria Goretti arrived at a church in the Goose Island neighborhood this morning. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop is live with more on who this saint is and the crowds who gather today to pray. Regina. Marian St. Maria Goretti was stabbed to death when she was 11 years old, and it's said that on her deathbed, she actually forgave the man who killed her. And many of the people who've come here today, they say she is an example of forgiveness that we can all strive for. Inside St. Cantus Church, the pews are filled with the faithful. They've been coming by the busloads to see the remains of St. Maria Goretti the youngest saint canonized by the Catholic Church. It's a once in a lifetime. When is she going to come back here? Goretti was 11 years old when she was stabbed to death during an attempted rape in 1902. In her last breath, she is said to have forgiven the man who killed her, saying she wanted him in heaven with her forever. She having forgiven her murderer, uh, a murderer who was, I mean, nothing short of a monster, uh, she not only converted him, but put him on a path to personal holiness through her mercy and compassion. A glass casket holds her skeletal remains, which are encased in wax. Worshippers kneel and pray near it. Worth every minute of coming in and, and seeing her and praying. Sonia Krauss drove here from Quincy to see the remains. She says the message of forgiveness is a powerful one that she tries to teach her children every day. To actually see the relic as a, um, a, a real human, I think it was important for the kids. And they uh, and my son's doing his confirmation this year, and I just think it ties it all together. Forgiveness is about you, not the other person. It's, you have to forgive to be happy, basically. And the relics are under heavy guard by Homeland Security and the Chicago Police Department. And coming up at 6, we'll tell you where the relics will be traveling to next. Dick and Marion, now back to you. Wow, very moving that young lady, mm -hmm. wasn't she? Thank well you so said. much, Regina. Y bueno, las reliquias de María Goretti, ya pasando otro tema, la santa más joven de la Iglesia Católica, están en Chicago para una histórica visita. Y Yasmín Beltrán está en el norte de la ciudad con esas imágenes. Yasmín, adelante. ¿Qué tal? Muy buenas tardes. Hoy miles de personas han llegado aquí a ver los restos de Santa María Goretti, la santa más joven en la Iglesia Católica. Y se espera que muchos más se acerquen aquí para rendirle tributo a esta santa. 
Una larga fila de personas se ha formado todo el día en la iglesia St. John Cantius para ver las reliquias de Santa María Goretti, la santa más joven de la iglesia católica. Es la primera vez que sus restos viajan desde el Vaticano a los Estados Unidos. She died in 1902. Santa María Goretti murió en 1902 cuando tenía 11 años, luego de ser apuñalada 14 veces por un violador. 20 horas después del ataque, cuando ella ya estaba al borde de la muerte, ella perdonó a su agresor. Y que es el poder del perdón es el mensaje más fuerte de Santa María Goretti, ya que según relata la iglesia, el responsable de su muerte rectificó su vida tras ser perdonado por la niña. Hasta el asesino de Santa María Goretti estuvo presente durante su canonización, junto con la madre de Goretti. Hoy, en esta iglesia, tenemos una estatua hecha de cera que contiene los huesos de la santa, y dichos están en el mismo ataúd de vidrio en el que fue canonizada. Hoy feligreses tuvieron la oportunidad de tocar el ataúd. Es una emoción muy grande, se siente su presencia, su, sus milagros que ha hecho, están entre nosotros. No necesita ser un anciano para tener la sabiduría y el poder de hacer las cosas, todo lo pueden hacer, especialmente los niños. Para saber dónde estarán las reliquias de Santa María Goretti el resto de la semana, visite univisionchicago.com. Hoy a las siete y media habrá una misa en latín y si usted quiere ver los restos de Santa María Goretti, lo puede hacer hasta mañana a las seis de la mañana. Reportando desde la iglesia St. Cantius, aquí en el oeste de la ciudad, Yasmín Beltrán. I want to show you a really great picture coming to you from the church balcony. This is the first time Chicagoans are seeing St. Maria Goretti. St. John Cantus Church is the first stop in Illinois. The relic got a heck of a welcome here in Chicago, a police motorcade and six federal agents from Homeland Security this morning. At this hour, as you can see, people are kneeling in front of the relic, paying their respects, doing whatever they can to honor this saint. Thousands have come to this church in Chicago's River West neighborhood to see a saint. Inside this glass-sided casket, encased in wax, the skeletal remains of St. Maria Goretti. Goretti was just 11 years old when she died in 1902 after being stabbed 14 times in an attempted rape. On her deathbed, Goretti forgave her killer. He was in prison when he got out after 27 years. He went to her mother and asked if she could forgive him. Well, she said, God has forgiven you, Maria has forgiven you, of course I forgive you. The attacker would go on to join the church. For Catholics, it's an astonishing story of divine mercy and forgiveness. It was very moving going up there. You, it's like you could feel, you know, that you're in the presence of a saint. And it's so wonderful, you know, that she gave her life and all those horrible things that happened to her, and yet she still forgave. All day long, people kneeled and prayed beside Goretti's remains. For some, the experience is overwhelming. Katie Kralka brought her two young daughters. St. Maria Goretti the, forgave, you know, even though, you know, she didn't have to, and so we really tried to instill that in our children. Maria Goretti was canonized in 1950, 48 years after her death. Pope Francis ordered her remains brought to the U.S. as part of the Holy Year of Mercy, set to begin in December. Back here live, Maria Goretti's body will visit churches in North Lake, Orland Park, and Plainfield, and she'll still be here tonight. Tonight, people will gather here at 7.30 for solemn mass. We're live at John Cantus Church. Tamon Bradley, WGN News. She is known as the patroness of purity, her greatest virtue, her unyielding forgiveness. Today, Chicagoans pay tribute to St. Maria Goretti, the youngest canonized saint in the Catholic Church. This is her first time her remains are in the United States. And CBS 2's Mike Parker is live at St. John Cantius Church with her story and the tour. Mike. Rob, for 24 hours today, this church on the near west side, St. John Cantius, has become something of a shrine. 
a shrine to the church's youngest saint. A glass casket containing the wax-covered remains of St. Maria Goretti arrived here at dawn, the latest stop on a nationwide tour of 54 cities. All day long, thousands of the faithful came to pray near her. Her story has moved them deeply. St. Maria Goretti was 11 years old in 1902 when she was stabbed 14 times by her would-be rapist. And she forgave him, saying, I want to be with him forever in heaven. She was so concerned about him and his salvation uh, that in her dying moments she spent her, her dying strength offering words of forgiveness on his behalf towards him. St. Maria is now the patron saint of chastity, rape victims, young girls and forgiveness. Many of the faithful brought their children to witness this. It's important for my kids to observe and witness that we bring them to this uh, church to see Maria Goretti. She's a saint for, for all young people, especially during this time and this culture that we live in, uh, this crazy sexual revolution that's been going on for since the 60s. Later this evening, a Chicago police honor guard will take a flag inside, a bouquet of flowers, and will then stand guard, a formal honor guard around the casket of that young saint. Reporting live from the near west side, Mike Parker, CBS 2 News. Rob? Okay, Mike, thank you.